All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your retro gaming system using a RF adapter, using a multi-out composite or S-video output cable, and even a component cable like I'd have over here with HD RetroVision. Okay, y'all. So let's get to it. The first one we have is, of course, the factory, simple, cheap, little RF switcher. As you can see here, this is the Nintendo brand. This is the one that came with the uh, original Nintendo that I bought for my first system. I went to the store and got a, a second one for eight bucks. It's real cheap. You can find these on uh, Amazon and even eBay now in uh, 2022 because retro gaming got so popular that they everybody wants to sell the stuff. Some overpriced, some underpriced. But this is the connector that goes to the back of your console here. Okay, hooks up to that little... RCA jack coming out, RF. And, and then this goes to the back of your TV, of course, to the analog uh, cable TV input. And I'll show you where to hook that up in a little bit. And then from there, if you want to step up, then you go get one of these, which was the Super Nintendo multi-out plug. And this plugs up to this other port right here. Multi-out on the Super Nintendo, okay? Just goes right in there. And it only goes one way, of course, because of the line. And you can find usually modest for like 10 to $20. Some good cables like these that are pretty cheap. These are actually from retro bit, but they're pretty good. They have a uh, composite out and also S-video. And composite, if you didn't know, composite has its own quality because some games were designed by developers to have different colors and different looks from a composite feed which uh, puts black and white and red green blue all in one signal to your TV through a single video input okay and I'll show you that on the back of your TV soon and there's also a composite video sometimes on the front of most TVs CRT TVs especially and of course left and right audio for your stereo sound but also you might be able to get a connector that has like this that has S video and has these little four pins in there and these four pins separate the red green blue and the black and white and of course the left and right audio stereo going out so it improves the quality because it does separate the colors the red green blue from the black and white signal and makes it more uh, clearer and prettier so it's an upgrade from the composite s video is a huge upgrade compared to composite now from here you can buy hd retrovision cables and these are $65 plus taxes and shipping. And these hook up to the same output right here. Same port of the Nintendo. And it uses, utilizes the red, green, blue signal. And decodes it right here in this little box. And then it sends it out, you know, through these uh, red, green, blue uh, component cables. And these are component. They're not red, green, blue. They're uh, Y, PB, and PR, okay? They're a different type of signal. But... It's the closest you can get to red, green, blue without modding your system. And then, of course, left and right audio, stereo auto. So let's go in the back of the TV and plug all these up so you can see how to use them. All right, y'all, before I move on, I want to mention that just because I am highlighting the Super Nintendo right now and showing you how to hook up all the different uh, ways with the RF, the composite, and the uh, S-Video and component, that is not just for the Super Nintendo. All these other retro devices that you see before me, from the Nintendo 64 to the Super Famicom, PS1, 2, 3, uh, Sega Saturn, Sega Genesis, Xbox 360, original Xbox, and the Sega Dreamcast. All these systems and other systems all had some form of uh, component or composite or anything like that. And then with the new up-to-date stuff, you got a component coming out from HD Retrovision for almost the majority of almost all of these systems, okay? And some of them had them for factory. So don't think that uh, this is just a tutorial just for only learning how to hook up a Super Nintendo. No, this applies to all retro gaming systems and current, uh, except for, of course, the HEMI, which uh, you don't need to know I know that, but because everybody knows that already. So, so yeah, okay, that concludes. That's it. Alrighty, y'all. So here we are in the back of my TV. Move this power cable away. As you can see, 
this Toshiba is set up a little different than most TVs, but it's basically the same. So here you have your RF input, okay, or your antenna input. And then right here you have an additional going out video, okay. And this is composite going out with left and right speakers, okay, so stereo sound. This is just in case you want to uh, have a, another TV or monitor, you know, going out from this feed. But then over here, this has a video one and a video two input connector right here. And all this whole box right here, these five buttons are all video two inputs. Now the video two input can be used two different ways. It can be used through a composite feed, which is this yellow, white, and red feed right here, these buttons, inputs. Or you can use it as component, which is this yellow is actually green, which is the Y. And then there's blue and then red feed right here for the component cables. And then, of course, stereo left and right will be right here. So this is where you hook up your component inputs, okay? Over here on video one is where you, you can put either a composite feed in with your left and right audio, which has been ripped out by accident by the customers who gave this TV to me. And then, um, well, the guy, I mean, I found on the street, it was already like that. That's what, that's what I mean. Or you can use S-Video as video one uh, input, okay? And so instead of hooking up the composite cable, you hook up your S-Video cable down here. So let me grab this camera, give you a little better close-up of what everything looks like. There you go. So that is S-Video input there. Then you got your composite input there with your stereo going sound left and right or your mono as it's clearly labeled. Over here you got your Y, P, B, or P, R, as you can see down there. Those are the component inputs and then left and right. And then of course going out in the RF with the 75 ohm universal uh, symbol right there. So now that you know what each one is, let's go ahead, set this camera up and plug these cables up to it, okay? All right, so first, let's get your RF adapter right here. And we're gonna just screw it straight in over here. And now you'll turn your TV to channel three and it'll show that feed, okay? It'll show that feed from this uh, RF switching box right here, okay? Now, if you are hooking up this multi-port, multi-out for your Super Nintendo or whatever game that has one like this similar, and it has a composite out, you can actually hook it up two different ways. You can hook it up right here on Video Feed 1 with your left and right audio, okay? This was the right. This was your left right here. Just like that, and you put on your Video Feed input on your TV you hit with the remote to video feed one and then it'll be a composite line but if you want to up the ante and make the quality better you remove the composite and over here on the side where I had the S video input you will put your S video input now it has an arrow right there see showing where there's a little notch on the inside of this S video and it's designed to go a certain way you see how it has those little notches on the inside? One on top, one in the inside. So you got to make sure you line it up to your S-Video correct over here when you put it in because you can damage it, okay? So I'm going to push it in correct. So now I have S-Video with my left and right audio. And now when I go to video feed uh, one, it's S-Video, okay? Very simple. All right, so then from there... If you want to upgrade, and you can actually leave that hooked up and then just switch through the feeds with a remote. So if you want to play the different games and different uh, color schemes, you can. But if you want to get the one of the best looking and sharpest image, of course, you'll switch over to your component cables. And for your component cables, you're going to go ahead and hook them up. Like I said, the Y, which is the green, to the yellow right here, and then to the blue, the PR. And then the PB, which is the red. And then, of course, your stereo sound. Okay. And that's how you hook up your component cables. These might be all in line or they might be separate like this. But 
as long as it's the green, the green, red, red, blue, blue, you're good to go, okay? So then you'll click on your remote, input feeds one, two, and three. And that'll give you the different feeds, okay? So let me hook all this up, just so I can show the example of each feed real quick, and then I'll let you go. Alrighty, y'all. So now I have it hooked to RF. And all you have to do is make sure that when you go to your inputs, that it is put on TV, okay? So you go to your, sorry, TV, highlight TV, and make sure that it is on channel three. As you can see here in the bottom right screen, it shows channel three, okay? So TV three for your RF connected. You can also put it on channel four on the back of your Super Nintendo or other devices. Some don't give you a choice, but whenever you get a choice, just hook it up to whatever channel you need to put it on, you know, put it on three or four. Okay, so now I have my S video hooked up and the S video and the composite were hooked up to the same video feed, you remember? In the back is that video one. So in order to access that, you wanna hit your input on your remote or on your TV until you get to that video one input that you saw there. So now, as you can see, it cleared up and it looks way sharper, way better. And that's because that's S video. This was RF. As you can see, it's just a little blurry. It uh, actually sounds quieter. That's because it's having to de decode all the colors and the sound from one feed. And then you go to your S video with stereo surround. Colors and sound improve. All right, so let me pause it and let me put the component cables and you can see how that looks. And then that will be video input too. Okay, and of course the component cable inputs are HD retrovision. So those are different cables. So I had to unplug them and plug in the component cable. So here you go. Go to input two. Okay, sorry, I had a little glitch there. So here is this in component cables. As you can see, the colors are even more vibrant and robust, and it is way sharper. And I haven't changed no settings on the TV, just the inputs. So you can actually go back to the other footage, rewind a little bit, and look at RF. And then go back and look at component. Component is video very close, but you can see the shadow differences in the sharpness and the color richness of the different colors. They actually pop a little more. But okay, y'all. I hope this helps you to hook up your devices with different outputs and inputs, whatever you need, you know, the RF the composite, the S video, and the component cables to your CRT TVs. Okay, thank you, everybody. Until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.